Ruby Bridges Goes to School, My True Story, written by Ruby Bridges herself. Ruby Bridges Goes to School. Look, that's a picture of Ruby Bridges. A long time ago, some people thought that black people and white people should not be friends. In some places, black people were not allowed to live in the same neighborhoods as white people. These signs say, we want white tenants in our white communities. We won't go to school with Negroes. In some places, black people were not allowed to eat in the same restaurants as white people. Whites only. And in some places, black children and white children could not go to the same schools. This is called segregation. The United States government said segregation is wrong. People should live where they want, people should eat where they want, and children should go to school where they want. My name is Ruby Bridges. In 1960, I went to kindergarten in a school for black children. I like my school, I like my teachers, and I like my friends. But there was a school for white children even closer to my house than the school for black children. It was the William France Elementary School. The government said Ruby Bridges should be allowed to go to the William France School. Here's a picture of the school. In 1961, I was in the first grade. My mom took me to the France school. U.S. Marshals came with us to make sure we were safe. There I am going in the school. Some people did not want a black child like me to go to the white school. They stood near the school and they yelled at me to go away. Their signs say, we want segregation and we do not want to integrate. They did not want me there. Parents took their children out of the school. I was alone with my teacher, Mrs. Henry. I loved Mrs. Henry and Mrs. Henry loved me. I was a very good student. I learned math, I learned to read, but I wish the children would come back. It was kind of lonely. Months and months passed. And then one day, children began to come back to school. At last, I had friends to play with. I was very, very happy. There I am with some of my friends from school. Many people have read about me in newspapers and books. A famous writer named John Steinbeck wrote about me. He wrote that I was very brave. The First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt wrote a letter to me. The letter told me I was a good American. Norman Rockwell was an artist who painted a picture of me. The painting has become very famous. Now I'm a grown up and I'm married, I have my own children um, and I'm living my best life. One day, Mrs. Henry and I were both asked to be on a TV show. It was the first time we had seen each other in many years, but now we talk to each other often. Nowadays, black children and white children can go to the same schools. I like to visit schools and tell my story to children. I tell children that black people and white people can be friends. And most important, I tell children to be kind to each other. The end. This is a true story written by Ruby Bridges herself. She is still alive today, and I recommend that you go online and hear her words when she's talking about her experience as the first person to integrate her school. It's really important that we keep Black stories alive, and I'm so glad that she is still alive to tell her story.